So currently I'm walking towards the um, Argyle Night Market. Um, they haven't been open for two years due to COVID and a lot of the uh, small um, businesses shut down uh, since then. So I expect that's going to be small. Um, but yeah, let's go check it out and see what they got. Good morning guys. Uh, right now it is 10 a.m. Um, today's plan is um, I'm gonna go celebrate birthday with my friends. It's not my birthday. Um, it's my friend's birthday but my birthday is coming up. Wink wink. <laughs> um, but yeah all the July babies out there, all the sun goddesses. Yay! Let's celebrate. I love the sunny days. I love the sunny birthdays. Mwah, mwah, mwah. <laughs> Okay, so uh, what was I saying? Oh, yes, so I have a birthday thing to go to. I'm excited because um, we're gonna check out this new brunch spot. It looks gorgeous. We're gonna check out a VR experience. I'm not sure what theme that they picked, but I do remember they had like apocalypse theme, um, Jurassic Park theme. I never done virtual reality experience before, so I'm very excited. But the first thing first, breakfast. I'm gonna show you guys my favorite Korean breakfast. It's called Kieran Jim. Um, basically, translating, uh, it would be Korean steamed eggs. It's very easy to make, um, very hearty. I hope you guys like this. Okay, so the ingredients are pretty simple. Um, three eggs, if you are making it for yourself only. Um, if you're making it for two, I would say uh, five or five to six eggs. Um, either a chicken broth or you could just use water and whatever the, um, the fillings that you want to go in. Um, I like carrots and zucchini and green onions, um, but my aunt made me one and she put spam in it. I think you could get creative and put basically anything you want to put in there. Um, but keep in mind, like if you put spinach and tomato, I think that's going to come out pretty soggy because you're going to be steaming and boiling this for, um, like maybe 10 minutes, 15 minutes. Anyways, let's get to it. Okay. Um, also I need to mention that, uh, you need, um, Korean earthware pot or clay pot. Um, if you don't have it, I think you could use regular pot. You just, you just might need to stir it a little more. Uh, mine is pretty huge. Um, this is about like four serving or three serving. You can find one that's smaller, which is like maybe half of the size like this. Anyways, all right, time to cook. the rainbow way up high there's a land that I've heard of once in a love lullaby somewhere 
Over the rainbow sky is all blue And the dreams that you dare to dream really do come true Someday I'll wish upon a star And wake up where the clouds are far behind Where troubles melt like lemon drops Away above the chimney tops That's where Sesame oil. Oh my god, this tastes so good. I love sesame oil. Okay, so something that I eat with that's not a very common Korean thing to do is avocado. Um, I love adding avocado to, with my kid and gym and rice combo. Um, it's a fruit that it, it's not native to Korea. I would highly recommend just it just adds a like extra creaminess, creaminess, you know? All right, so what I like to do is scoop a little bit of rice um, and then add a little bit of avocado. You don't have to. And then get a scoop of this fluffy egg here with mm, <laughs> carrot, zucchini, green onion, seaweed black sesame seed, you got a mouthful of flavor going on here, right? Mm. It's just so comforting. It's like rustic home feeling, you know? I love having this during winter time, cold morning, nice fluffy egg steam with with broth in it, you could add mushroom. Oh, I love mushroom combo with this. So I hope you try it. I will be so excited if you guys try making this and tell me if you guys if you guys like that or not. All right, so I'm gonna get my day started. Let's have a good one. Get up, get out of bed. I just wanna sleep instead. The fire is burning out You took a different route This is 
a wildflower latte. Um, you can taste the rose petals and lavender and a little bit of honey. Holy crap, this is so delicious. Bay coffee. And this place is so cute. Summer started.